Well, a bit earlier in our 5 o'clock newscast, we showed you our investigation of Vision Zero. It's a program to end all serious injuries and deaths on our roadways. Now, nationwide, it's fallen short. WBZ's Christina Rex explains and shows us tonight how we're doing with this program here in Massachusetts. And I'm ready to go. Mitch Heineman of Brookline rides his bike 25 minutes to work in Boston each day. Some days I'll go down Com Ave through Alston and through the nice protected bike lane. Where he doesn't have a lane, he knows how to share the road with cars. The first thing is try to be nice to everyone else. Uh, my wife is better at that than I am. In Boston in 2023, there were 11 crashes where a bicyclist was killed or seriously injured. In the whole state, there were 2,735 crashes where commuters of any kind died or were seriously injured, down from over 2,900 in the peak year of 2022. One thing all those numbers have in common, none of them are zero. The easiest way to think about Vision Zero is it's, a, it's a really a change in philosophy. Big overarching goal to uh, eliminate serious injuries and fatal crashes on roadways. For everyone, including drivers. Vision Zero, an idea introduced federally more than a decade ago, that streets with no serious crashes are possible, in part through road design. Federally, money has poured in, but the numbers of crashes have only risen. Permanent bike lanes, extended sidewalks, and raised crosswalks along Tremont Street in Boston. All examples of Vision Zero road design, which started in the city in 2015. It was a four-lane street with a history of, a terrible history of fatalities and injuries. And the city has gone about fully reconstructing the street. And it's worked, says Boston Head of Streets Yasha Franklin Hodge. While numbers have plateaued here, they've gone way down in trouble areas that have been reconstructed. Boston has done better than most in terms of holding these numbers down, but um, there's more work to do. Like reducing the numbers of children hit, which averages one every four days. Just this past weekend, a four-year-old was killed by a car in Fort Point. We're a city notorious for rushed, hurried, chaotic driving. And part of this whole Vision Zero idea is to slow down. So our goal is not congestion. Our goal is for streets that are slow and steady, that can move people, but that can move them at reasonable speeds. Newer to the game, the town of Brookline which has a safe streets program, but just launched a Vision Zero coalition with hopes of a plan in place by 2025. We'll be having an interactive web map for residents to input the locations where they, you know, just qualitatively don't feel safe. Innovation is the name of the game for Vision Zero. People are going to make mistakes. We should not put them in a situation where those mistakes are deadly. And much of the safety testing done happens here at UMass Amherst in this driving simulator. What? Unsafe driver. Get that stuff off your roof. We can put people in somewhat potentially dangerous situations, but be able to study comprehension behavior in a laboratory controlled setting. The research here is responsible for changes on our roads, like the blinking yellow arrows you see to take a left turn. A lot of the work that we're doing would focus on complete streets you know, things like, you know, uh, emerging trends like e-bikes and e-scooters and different pedestrian crossing uh, treatments and, and sort of what those might look like in a, in a real world setting. With the help of this technology, could that vision of zero deaths or serious injuries be possible? Maybe, but it's a long way away. In the meantime, for riders like Mitch, where there aren't lanes, safety is a personal responsibility. I try to stay off all the busy streets. Christina Rex, WBZ News.